Are you learning number 14 etude from Suzuki Cello Book 1? Then this is the video for you. Hi, my name is Liz from Cellomoji.com and I give you tips and tricks so that you can learn all of your favorite songs on the cello. If you're new to this channel, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you won't miss out on any other Cellomoji videos. So this song is part of my slow play series where I play through the song nice and slow so that you can hear the pitches and the rhythms and how they fit together with the accompaniment. So I'm purposely playing through this song a little bit slower where the quarter note is going to equal 51. Um, keep in mind this is not the final tempo and when you are ready to perform this song make sure you are increasing the speed until it is at the proper tempo. I encourage you to really work with a metronome on this one. It is really easy to either like take too much time or to rush through certain sections in this song. So having a metronome will really help you keep track of what speed you should be at, whether it is at the slow tempo or whether it's at the final tempo. If you notice, there are no sharps or flats in the key signature, so that is the key of C major. So here you can actually play your C major two octave scales. And I reviewed that in a video that I'll link up above and below. But in case you're not quite sure about the C major scale or you're not sure you remember all of the notes, they actually write the C major scale right above Etude in the Suzuki book. This song reminds me a lot of number nine, Perpetual Motion, where there are all of these eighth notes and you have to work on getting things nice and clear. But the difference is this one is gonna work a lot on the string crossings. You're gonna notice that there are a lot of string crossings going on. So make sure you are really working to keep each note nice and clean. Notice in measure seven, there is the number one with a line in it. So this will mean that you're going to keep your first finger down while you're playing the other notes that span the length of that line. This is actually a skill that you learned earlier in this book where you are encouraging your hand now to be able to play across two different strings at the same time. Let's keep our notes nice, crisp, and clean in this song and there's actually a sentence at the beginning of the song where they're saying they'd like you to stop after every note. I think what this means is, in other words, the eighth notes are just not going to be mushy and you're just gonna want to keep everything nice and crisp. So in this playthrough, I will play through the single notes and then I'll play through the double notes right after that. All right, here we go. from Suzuki Cello Book 1. If there are any questions that I haven't answered in this video, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And give me a thumbs up if you're a fan of this slow play series, and let me know if there's some other songs that you would like to see. 
Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!